Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the knockout editable version uh, of the macro. So, like I said in previous videos, you're going to want to make sure that only one layer is turned on and it needs to be the layer that you need to apply the effect to. So I'm going to turn off my text layer and I can see that the leopard layer that I want to do this to is selected. Now I'm going to select the macro, knockout, editable. Now what this does is the same function as the quick black but it allows you to edit it, which is a really great function if you need uh, you know, a little more um, control of what you're doing. So for me to be able to see what's going on, I'm going to add the garment color. So I'm going to hit the Add Garment Color uh, macro here, and it's going to drop in the black, and that's exactly what I want. So let's go back to the Knockout Editable um, layer group here. Now what you'll see here is it's created three separate layers. So you have the artwork itself, it's created a mask that actually does the knocking out and puts in um, just a default uh, levels layer adjustment. Now, to get this function to work properly, um, currently Affinity doesn't have a way for us to automatically apply this levels to a mask layer through macros, so you're going to have to manually do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to click drag, and while we're holding down, we're going to drag this icon on top of this icon, the mask layer. And once we see a blue highlight on the right side, we're going to release, which will then clip it to that mask layer. So I'm going to click, drag, and move on top of the uh, layer below's icon. And now you see that blue line to the right of its icon. And then you release once you see that. Once you do that, it's clipped now to the mask. So this layer adjustment is clipped to the mask. Now if I double click that levels icon, the levels dialog will pop up. So now we can make our edits to the mask, which is how much um, we want erased, basically, how much of the black we want erased. Um, so th the way that we edit it is, and you have to understand how levels works, is masks are dealing with the alpha. And that's what we're going to want to change. From master here, we want to go to alpha. Everything else is a color channel, and we don't want to be in the color channels. We want to be in the alpha. So let's select alpha. And the one thing that you're going to want to understand about masks are masks work the way light does. In space, space is basically a void. If there were no lights like stars or planets, things of that nature that create light, we wouldn't be able to see anything. And masks work the same way. So anything that's white is going to be visible. Anything that's black, we won't be able to see. It'll be erased. And I'm going to uh, illustrate that by, I'm going to close this levels. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down Alt on my keyboard and click on the icon for the mask. And now we've actually entered into the mask, and you can see how the mask is working. Anything that's white is visible, and any variation of white dipping into black, any sort of percentage of white will be visible at a certain percentage. So 50% white is 50% visible. Anything that's 100% black is 100% not visible or erased. Anything that's 100% white is completely visible. It's 100% opaque. So that's basically what we're going to be playing with here. So now to get out of the mask mode, I'm just going to double click on the levels to bring up the levels um, dialog. Go back and change to the alpha. So now with the alpha channel selected, I want to erase some of this. I, um, I, I kind of want to remove some of what I'm seeing here. So I'm going to take the black level and pull that forward a little bit and you can see the more I decrease it the less I can see. So this is a great function to have if you need to kind of remove some of the image. So I'll just do a tiny tiny little bit. The power here for me is the white. I want to actually pull some of this garment here, this this uh, garment texture here back in. I want to kind of show that section off a little bit more. So you can see it's not really affecting the leopard but I want to get the texture of the shirt to pop a little bit more. The other thing that you can play with is the gamma, which is kind of, it uh, works kind of the way contrast does. You're either going to have more black or more white. So I want to pull it so that I lower the gamma um, so that the blacks aren't as intense. So I think I like it about there. That looks pretty good, and I'm done. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off my color layer, and you can see that we have all the black knocked out, and we can play with this levels anytime by double clicking on it making sure we go into alpha and playing with these different settings here and you can see we can push or pull um, the pixels that we want so i like that there 
So I'll turn on that garment color. I can come back and turn on the text. And you can see, uh, minus the text, we've gotten the black knocked down. Now, text is something you can go back in and do the same thing. I'd probably use a quick black to just knock that out quickly because it's really just 100% black pixel. Nothing, no, there are no fades or variations of black. So that is the knockout editable function. Uh, in the next video, we'll talk about the rasterization methods.